is up you guys i figured it'd be a perfect day to take you guys with me into the shop and um i got a lot of sanding to do today to be straightforward with you so it's a pretty chill day but um since there's so much i figured i might as well take you guys with me and show you what like a normal day is this isn't another day in the life i just wanted to talk about um pretty much what's new and um i'm really hyped that uh I've been working on the Z a little bit. I got a new jack stand for it, and I'm so excited that I can just throw the car back up on stands if I want to again, you know, like just to work on it. And um, I made the car drastically lower. Um, my coilovers were bottomed out to begin with, and um, I understand that with uh, axle spacers and with um, big four inch billet spacers, they're gonna be pushed out pretty far. Um, and so I'm just excited that I was able to actually do something, fabricate the coilovers the way I want to. I had to take them apart and clean them um, in drill holes, but uh, to actually match them up and everything, um, making them perfectly uh, symmetrical. And um, I love how it turned out and uh, I can't wait to show you guys. And um, anyways, uh, I wanted to take care of this thing and um, just kind of keep them quiet about the project that's probably going to show up maybe next week. Um, I don't know either way i'll take you guys along for that and um we'll see what happens but uh either way i'm just super thankful for you guys and um i didn't Im imagine we'd hit uh a thousand subs so fast and um literally uh it it almost happened in like i don't know a, a month where it pretty much doubled and um i'm so thankful for all of you guys and uh it's definitely keeping me motivated to keep doing this more and um show you guys what it's actually like and take you guys through uh what i'm doing and um what i'm actually like going through and pretty much in the process of making so um i really just appreciate all of you for it and uh either way i'll see you guys down at the shop take you guys with me real quick but we renovated this entire back area again and um i actually got this where i wanted it to be with fitment wise um and also i actually got the miata the sound how i wanted to um it turns out that the muffler from this car that i put on that um that was leaking not the actual pipe so every time i was welding the pipe it was just making it better but um it seems to be better and um genuinely this is a hell of a lot lower than what it used to be and it's tucked fitment now um but the second somebody gets in it it actually goes even lower which is really cool but um either way i have my little area back here now and snap bomb box so everything's cool and everything's good but either way i'm just gonna set you guys up and um i'm gonna start going at it with these parts Got one done, I got a bunch more to go up in the paint booth, but um, I can't wait to show you guys what the Miata sounds like. Did want a good chance to wipe down the Miata real fast.
I've been wanting to clean the inside of that car for like the past three days. Um, but I try to keep it pretty clean to begin with, so. But um, either way, I think it'd be super cool to show you guys what I actually spent the majority of yesterday working on and um, managed to actually build a pretty good jacking point under the Z, so. not the most beautiful but it is a tow hook off an old van and um i'm so excited that now i can actually like throw this car up whenever i want to and throw it on jack stand super super easy and it's not going to take like i don't know 30 whole seconds to actually do it it just takes 10 seconds now so and i don't have to worry about it because it's rock solid right to the frame so it's actually like best case scenario and um if i get bored i can literally screw in a tow hook to the bottom and tow something with this thing so i'd love to see that someday it'd be funny as hell but I don't know. Finally got her up here and I'm super excited to actually show you guys what she sounds like. Um, it's crazy that the actual muffler itself was leaking because I did not think it was the muffler. I thought it was the pipes. Um, genuinely, uh, until I got somebody else to start the car and I actually put my hand over the exhaust, I could actually feel where the air was coming out from. Um, but I just thought it was crazy. But nevertheless, I just want to show you guys what she sounds like. So. So that right there is pretty much how I've wanted my Miata to sound. And um, it's crazy that it took me so many tries and uh, trial and error to figure out that the actual muffler itself was leaking, not the exhaust. So it, it's crazy, but either way, I'm just thankful that now it's pretty much the Miata that I've always wanted. Um, and also, I just wanted to tell you guys again how thankful I am for pretty much each and every single one of you. Um, honestly, it keeps me going. It gives me the motivation to keep making these types of videos. And um, I'm super thankful for all of you. So that's about it for today. Honestly, I'm really grateful that I got a chance to clean this thing and honestly my workspace too. But either way, got the kit all prepped, paint prepped and ready for paint. And um, got the other parts sanded down, they're ready to go. Uh, got another car in and got a Denali. And um, honestly, everything's ready to go. Um, I'm glad that uh, today was such a smooth day and I was able to bring you guys down with me. And um, like I said, I'm extremely thankful for each and every single one of you. And honestly, I'm really thankful that I got this thing to sound exactly the way I want it instead of putting up with like those annoying exhaust leaks. But either way, I'm thankful for all you guys and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.